Hi, it's Peter again, back as I promised the other day, and we're going to take a closer look at some of the projects from my eclectic collection, which is going to be featured exclusively for the time being on Create and Craft on the 16th and 17th of November. Now, I'm on in the morning and in the early evening on both days, but check the times. Go, go to Create and Craft, go to the website and check the times to find out exactly, because these things are subject to change. Um, so, without further ado, shall we take a look at some of the projects? Now, the other day, what we did, we, we, I showed you and I, I told you a little bit about the die sets themselves, but let's see what we can do with them today. So, first up, we had to the moon and back and I think that we saw we saw this project now it features there are a number of different dies obviously they all work together you can use several of them independently um, and stylistically they fit in with a couple of other sets in this eclectic range so this one is just using the moon and the clouds and you can see I've used clear embossing powder on, on that as well and the embossing powders are in the range now this is something this is a framed piece made that lovely background using distress inks as well so you can see the silver opulent cardstock on the front there it's a lovely set it reminds me of sort of you know the the whole Arabian Nights kind of vibe and theme um, it's really contemporary right now um, and it's so much fun, so much fun to play with and work with. So there is to the moon and back. Then next up, we had bird cages. Uh, 18 dies in total, four cages, lots of little birds, and this lovely hanging motif. Now let's have a look at some of the examples we used. This is just using plain cardstock, nowhere to hide really. The flowers you see, well, we'll, we'll be talking about those in a second. They're from our next set, as is some of the dies made using this card, so there's bird cages. Uh, you can see there, we just took 10 playing cards, a little bit of ink over the top to give it a sort of a shabby chic look. And this lovely planter with the branches that comes from our Ekibana set, which we will look at next. Now, you'll notice as well, a lot of these cards feature stamps and stamps feature heavily in the collection, um, or as do the embossing powders. You can see with these die cuts, I've used multi layers of embossing powders, so we're getting real dimension in there that really looks like metal findings. Then, last but not least, I showed you this one the other day. Very simple, black cardstock against an ink background, wonderful, lovely, gorgeous silhouettes. Now, Ikebano, we just touched on this one the flowers and the branches and the planters. Um, it's a lovely set. There are one, two, there are seven different planters, pots, call them what you will. We've got all these different branches and the flowers. So you can mix and match these stylistically. You can change your colors up to suit what you want to do. Um, there's one with, with the distress inks, obviously with a faded background. Again, we've got that stamp motif in there. Then next up, how about this one? So I cut a circle use it as a mask and inked over the top before attaching the flowers and branches then let your dreams be your wings so it's lovely again now the circle that i cut from the last one this time i used it as a stencil so i inked through the circle rather than using the circle as the mask if you see what i mean you can see that there now last but not least be your own kind of beautiful two lovely colors blended in the background. Very, very simple. Um, and stylistically, as I said, they will work with the other die. Now, there are three more cards I just want to show you, actually, because these are, are gorgeous. Now, this this is my cup of tea. I love this sort of thing. Very, 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 very simple. Very clean, um, lovely ink backgrounds. Again, we've used the branches from the Ikebana set, and we've used some of those little birds from the bird cages set so that's combining the two and of course some of our sentiment stamps next we will look at the flights of fancy set four dies in this set we're getting two birds and two butterflies and what i've done with these to bring them to life is i've used my embossing powders to get this sort of leaded look um, then next up and you can see i've used that lovely splatter stamp in the background as well 
So there's another one. So that is just black card with clear embossing powder on it. Now, if you inked up white card, die cut the butterfly, and then use the embossing powder, we're getting that kind of effect. So it's not just a flat die cut, we're getting dimension in there as well. And the flowers, of course, are from our Ikebana set. And finally, two more using our birds. Again, featuring the stamps and the sentiments. And we use the uh, leading effect with the embossing powders. Now, mixed media motifs is our next collection. We're getting 10 dies. This will work with so many of your die sets that you already have. It works beautifully with the stamps as well. It's a very versatile set and it's great for making those wonderful backgrounds or just to add features with, with these cards what I've done I've made these the feature but in truth they do work very well with existing dies so we're bringing in a lot of the stamps with these as well sometimes just a simple star that's all it takes how about that for faux embossed technique and again slightly different inking die cutting using the embossing powders as well there's another one of those lovely monochromatic ones now this one, we've cut the background, obviously, we've masked away before stamping. And the bits that come out of this, they don't go to waste. Oh no, my friends, because we do that with them. And again, we use clear embossing powder to get that kind of sheen and that dimension and make a wish. And last but not least, with the You Are Loved stamp over the top. So that is the mixed media collection. Now, we've talked an awful lot about stamps. Let's have a look at what we're talking about again. Andy's panning out. Thank you for coming in today, Andy. I really appreciate it, by the way. So, what we've got, we've got four sets. Smile, Sparkle, Shine. Then we've got Splats at the bottom. You've seen these stamps used quite a bit already. Then Good Vibes, number one, and Good Vibes, number two. And as the name suggests, they're really positive uh, sentiments. Very modern and contemporary in style. Hopefully it's the kind of thing that you guys love. Uh, I know I get great comments about some of the, the sentiments that I print on my cards. So that's what I wanted to do. I wanted to channel that and give you some lovely stamps. Um, now let's have a look at samples thereof. Oh, let's turn that over actually, because no, nope, no, we'll keep it there. There we are. Now that's combining the sentiments and one of these splat background stamps, as is that one, a lovely rainbow effect. So same stamp. Repeated seven times using Distress Inks, I think, or Oxides, one or the other. Then, again, there's two or three of those different stamps with a lovely sentiment in the foreground. Again, another one with a lovely background. That splatter, I love that splatter. You can blend your inks on the stamp, spritz it, stamp it. Absolutely gorgeous. It looks different every time. It's random, but the more you practice it, the more you control you get over it. And this is repeating that stamp back to back with that lovely sentiment over the top. Very, very simple, very straightforward. Now, we talked a lot, again, about the, um, I haven't got any examples featuring these embossing, but well, when I say I haven't got any, we've seen quite a lot, but the, the point is we've seen them in, um, in some of the makes already. You can see how gorgeous these colors are. We've got mirror platinum, gun metal, kettle copper, and crystal clear lovely very very unusual um color some of these usually we get gold and rose gold and silver i wanted to get away from that particularly mirror platinum it's love it's kind of a, it's it's a very old almost like tarnished silver uh, it lies somewhere between silver and gold there um the copper i just love that color and you know what these work well together you can you can mix these you can blend them you can use the clear over the top of these metallics and it gives you a wonderful effect but whether you're adding them to your die cuts or whether you're using them um, with an embossing ink pad to to stamp onto your cards it's entirely up to you now last but not least i, I talked about it the other day i'll talk about it very very quickly this is from the Eclectic range, it is uh, the cardstock, and it's the cardstock that I wanted to see. And it kind of plugs the gap with our, um, you know, the, the set of 20 colours that we have and our neutrals. These sit perfectly alongside those, and these are tones that I thought we really needed 
to plug those gaps, even that green. Now, it might look a bit zingy there, but do you know what? When you add it with the other greens, it's fabulous. It really is. So we've got three greens going on and that lovely gray. Finally, so that is the eclectic card soap range. We've seen the embossing powders, we've seen the dyes, we've seen the stamps. And if you want to see more of them, then please join me on Create and Craft on the 16th and the 17th. We've got, I think we've got four shows in total. Check the listings, go to the Create and Craft website, see when we're on. I think we're on morning and afternoon. Um, but as I said at the beginning, it's subject to change. So check it out. Thank you very, very much for joining me. I shall see you again soon. Well, hopefully I'll see you on Create and Craft. Take it easy. So long.